Is this the dog food one. one? It's not the dog food one, but it might be a bit pungent. <laughs> Welcome to our brand new World Cup show where if you are looking for top class punditry and analysis then you have most definitely come to the wrong place. But over the next four weeks we are going to be following the highs and lows of our City players as they progress throughout the tournament so stick with us. City have a record break in 16 players across eight teams and funnily enough the eight teams they represent are favourites to progress to the group stages so we're going to be following them all the way and hopefully they bring back this. Which is the real, nations. it's the real one. Yeah. <laughs> but over the next month, we'll be bringing you a Man City perspective of the World Cup. But we do really want to hear from you. So make sure you leave your comments below. So if you've got any challenges for us, anything you want us to talk about, and also let us know how you think our boys are getting on in Russia. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. We don't have any rights. We don't have any access to our players. But what we do have is our man in Moscow, Scully. <laughs> Just landing in Moscow last night, so I'm just not here to support the Man City players really. Not bothered about who wins. I think it's going to be Brazil. I like Brazil. Who doesn't? And uh, let's hope the City players do well at this World Cup. Okay, so we are ready to explore the countries that our Manchester City players are representing in the World Cup through our Blindfold Taste Challenge. Let's do this. I'm feeling a bit nervous because something smells. It smells like well. dog food. It really does not smell good. Ooh, it doesn't look amazing. Oh no. Are you feeding it to me or am I? <laughs> yeah, all in one. I mean, you can all try. One. All in one. All... Oh. There's no oh, way. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> I thought it was going to be dog food, so I'm a bit nervous. Um, but I literally have no idea what. What country it is. This I is don't from. know what country it is. I think biscuits are quite universal. <laughs> yeah. To be Bisc honest. Yeah, so <laughs> <spoken out. laughs> Viennese, Viennese whirl. Spanish. No. Spanish speaking? Yes. Argentina. Correct! Ah. Boom. Manda's geography. <laughs> Talking of Argentina. Aguero, Otamendi. Is it Messi's time? Are they gonna win it this year? It's not. In the tough group, got Iceland and Croatia. team with the best kit. Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah. That kit yeah. is banging. But yeah. nice kits don't win games. Messi, Victor Moses. I think they'll get through. I think they'll yeah, they'll fly through that group. Well, let's remind ourselves of what exactly Con Aguero can do. I mean, okay. I wouldn't put us, wouldn't look exactly like that if I was there to put it on for friends. This one, do this one. Yeah. You want to keep it flat because otherwise it might go everywhere. Oh, is it another biscuit? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's got a lot of goodness on there. Uh, that is a very big bite. Mmm. Is it France? Is it cheese? Yeah. Yay! Yeah! I'm guessing you like Stilton then. That was France. Let's head over to Mendy's Instagram to see what happened when they arrived at their hotel in Russia. No Mendy, no party, and just like that cheese, I think France are looking pretty strong. <laughs> that was nice. I enjoyed that. <laughs> All right, Liam, you're up next. Right. Oh, I'm not oh, going to wow. panic you, but you have got a fork for this oh, one. Oh, stinks! It's because I'm very, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a very cultured stinks. young man. Can, can you to... stick it on the fork? Yeah. Do we go a lot? I, th yeah, I think. I just I'm don't quite think small. Really I'm quite, I'm quite small. I think you've been quite nice, there, Abs. I'm shaking. I, just... I can feel my hand. So, yeah. All I, I've got it. I have it. I, yeah, have I just don't want any of it to drop off, so I'm holding it under all. You're shaking as well now. 
Oh no. Tastes like the seaside. Yeah. Oh, it tastes like a whole mouth. No, when you're in the sea and a wave smacks you in the mouth. That's what it tastes like, but chewy. It's like, it's like salt water flavored chewing gum. Is it cockles? Still very polite. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they are. Oh, I've got, this is like a taste test on MasterChef. I've got such a good palate. <laughs> hey, Gordon Ramsay, where you at? Invite me up, bro. <laughs> I got cool. such a good palate. So in the England camp, we've got Sterling, Stones, Delph and Walker. And here are Carl Walker's World Cup memories. My earliest World Cup memory was the Michael Owen goal against Argentina when he's got a little Maisie uh, and that's probably what got me definitely into football. Uh, my probably ultimate World Cup icon watching, I can remember in school we got to watch the England-Brazil game and Ronaldinho kind of run the show. Um, it was a very unfortunate for England but I think for a single person performance, I thought that was very good. Dish number four. Oh, boring. It's boring? Yeah. Oh, I'd be happy with that. Very happy. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. I, yeah. He's, that is a Brazil nut. I'm quite a nut connoisseur, actually. So, um... Not, not hard to guess. Man. Cockles not man. Woman. Not woman. Not <laughs> woman. <laughs> Cool, so I got that obviously really quickly and we've got four Brazilians in the World Cup. So we've got Gab J, Danilo, Fernandinho and we've also got Edison. And we are now going to play his World Cup memories. Bom, minha primeira memória de uma Copa do Mundo foi em 2002, que o Brasil sagrou pentacampeão. É, eu lembro que acordava de madrugada para assistir os jogos, né? Que foi em Japão e Coreia, que o fuso horário era ao contrário, né? Na Coreia era tarde, no Brasil era... <risos> sei que horas que era. Mas eu lembro que eu acordava às 5 horas da manhã, 4 horas da manhã para assistir os jogos do Brasil, eu e minha família. Então a gente tudo torcia, vibrava, aí pintava as ruas, colocava bandeirinha nos postes, enfeitava a rua toda. Então isso são, são grandes recordações que eu tenho na Copa do Mundo. Na Copa que fez uma grande Copa foi o Marcos, goleiro, é, fez uma Copa do Mundo extraordinária. Então ele pôde ajudar o Brasil né, a trazer o Penta. Então ele foi um jogador muito importante dentro do, do grupo. E tem o Ronaldo também, né, que foi super decisivo na, na Copa. É, depois de tudo que ele passou, que ele tinha passado e retomar em grande, isso foi, foi muito bonito de se ver. <música> Five times Brazilian winners, and now dish number five. Let's do this, Kelly, you ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, Lord. Um, I think I'm gonna have to feed this to you. Mm. It's cold, and it, it's actually got it's hair on it. I think that could be mine. Someone needs but... to sack the chef. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, gonna grip, fall grip, over. You need to grip it, Maybe like to you... it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's a fine bit. All right, the hot dog. Is it some sort of German sausage? Is it Germany? Was so, so it Bra yeah, Bra like Frankfurt? Frankfurt. It's actually quite nice. Oh, Frankfurt, yeah, maybe. Is it? So that is Germany, the current world champions and the second favourites to win it. Let's check out Ilkay Gundogan's World Cup memories. World Cup final, 1998. In France, I think it was Brazil against France. I remember I was um, on holiday um, during that game in Turkey. Random, you know, that I <laughs> was watching the game then. Zinedine <laughs> Zidane. Um, when he <laughs> hit uh, Materazzi with his head. It was not like everyone was um, saying, oh, Zidane, um, what a bad player or what a bad character. It was just one situation, but um, yeah, especially these images when he when he walked um, off the field next to the World Cup trophy, you know. He was an incredible player, he's now an incredible uh, manager. I think for a lot of other people, especially in my age, um, yeah, a World Cup idol. 
Well, obviously, Ilkay is off to the World Cup, but in my opinion now, the biggest pressure is on Germany because a team that can afford to leave out Leroy Sané... Yeah. They've got yeah, they, they, have to, they have to win it. They have to win it. Yeah. How do you justify it? It was crazy. I honestly couldn't believe it. My phone was going mad. It was like... I don't know, it was just like big news. Yeah. It was like almost a family member. I was like, oh, I can't believe it. It was really, like, really Like, per personally hurt me. Three dishes to go, Portugal, Spain and Belgium. What have we got up next for Liam? It is, oh, it's a nice one. Actually, I'm not going to lie, this, I'm so glad I didn't get this because that's like my worst nightmare. But it's like, fudgy in the middle. Is it like a tart? He's going for a second bite. Is that custard oh, tart? No, it's the other thing that's like it. The egg one, the jelly egg one. Mm, get it from Nando's. What? Chicken? Oh, yeah, of course, because Nando's is Portuguese. Oh, right, why oh, don't you sorry. just give it away, Abby? <laughs> sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, sorry, is it actually mate. Portuguese? I, well... I have this down as a bit yeah, of an English tea. It's something donata or something. It's an, egg, it's an egg custard tart. Pastiche de nata. I'm sorry that I ruined that for you, Liam, but... If I'm, uh, if I'm being truthful, I can't find pastiche de nata, <laughs> so it is just an egg custard tart. <laughs> Wait, they so it's, a, it's supposed to be pastiche de nata. But it's an absolute Greek, egg custard tart. The producer couldn't find one, so he just bought a custard tart. Which is English, is it not? This is as English as it comes. Not a silver! Really good. Really oh, good. Fantastic. I've really good. Absolutely. I've had a good hand in this game. I'm jealous. Run. You've had a good run. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What was it? This you is know so know good. Is. I do. It's a waffle with some chocolate on. A Spanish waffle. <laughs> a Spanish waffle. No. A Belgian. <laughs> <laughs> um, a Belgian oh, waffle. The traditional obviously. Spanish waffle. So we found out it's Belgian waffles. Here's Kevin De Bruyne's World Cup memories. That's so nice. Mm. Maybe, maybe the, the, the striker Ronaldo from Brazil. Just, yeah, he's been huge in whatever he's done and I think he had a good World Cup, what was it, 2002? That's like... One of the tournaments I remember the most, together with maybe 98, where it all started a little bit. So, yeah, it's not been that long for me, to be fair. I had some videos of, of England uh, in the World Cup, and there was a goal for Michael Owen against Argentina. That's one that I remember. Well, I think alongside Brazil, for me, Belgium are the absolute favourites. They've got such a strong squad. Vinny, haven't heard anything on him, but he's still mm. in the squad, so hopefully he'll be all right. Nice Got KDB as well. And in the backroom staff, it's your favourite man. My favourite man in the whole wide world, Thierry Henry. He's an incredible coach. Beard. Beard. So if you've Top got, beard. If you've got Thierry oh, Henry as your striking coach, beard. I think you're going to be all right. And he has a magical Just, beard. He's got a magical beard. What a guy. What would you rather hold, World Cup or his beard? Just up his chin. Beard. <laughs> yeah. Just put a, bit, just put a beard on that. Hello, Thierry. Nice That's a lovely beard you have. Do you know how they greet him? Hello, Thierry. Good day. <laughs> More <Bonjour. laughs> Now, take the mid off, get a whiff of that. I think the smell it. That's what the smell was, and that it's not actually that bad. I thought it was a hot dog, but now I know it's this. It's not oh, yeah. Where is it? It's here. Let me just waft it. There oh, you go. strong. It's the force quite, is strong. Look, There's a lot of it. It's quite slimy as well. It's got a, it's got a real glisten to it. Just, if I, d I know that it's Spain's left, so if I didn't know that, I would have thought it was salami, but I think it must be chorizo or something like that. Didn't it's need Spanish. to taste it. Yeah, it. easy. Right, done. So I, I would eat it, but I've just had that waffle and... No. The magician. The magician. El Mago. El Mago. El Mago. David Silva. He is just quality. He's awesome. Yeah. Three goals away from being the third all-time top scorer for Spain as well, which is big. Wow. Yeah. David Silva is there, and David Silva 
turns the ball in. Forced but over, Davi Silva finds the net. We've tasted the food, but who do you think is going to win the World Cup? I've got Argentina. I just can't look past them. It's like the Avengers when they're like, we've got Hulk. They've got Messi. Like, they have a Messi. <laughs> it's crazy. I've personally gone for Brazil. I just see, I think Gab J is going to get the golden boot. I just think he's going to absolutely smash it. Looking at that group, the gold's just going to fly. And then, yeah, I just, I think they're so strong. It, they're going to do it. I'm going to stick with Belgium, I think they've got a really strong squad. They've got some key players and providing they can keep everyone fit, I think they're in with a real good shot. So guys, if you see anything weird and wonderful, make sure you let us know in the comments below. And remember, if you videoed yourselves doing any crazy celebrations, if you're running about your garden, waving your lovely shirt above your head, then just email it to us in the email address in the comments below. Yeah, finally, thank you for watching our first rate, top class professional World Cup show. We'll be back on Saturday to preview the following games, which were up there. France against Australia, Argentina, Iceland, Germany, Mexico, Germany, Mexico, <laughs> and Brazil against Switzerland. We'll see you then. Ready? Yeah? You got to hold and give, but do it at the right time. You can be slow or fast, but you must get to the line. They'll always hit you and hurt you. Defend and attack. There's only one way to beat them. Get round the back. Catch me if you can, because I'm an England man. And what you're looking at, it is a master plan. We ain't no hooligans, this ain't no football song. Three lines on my chest, you know we can't go wrong. Playing for England, England! I don't really know the rest of the words. Walk off. Walk off. <laughs>